are you? What's going on, guys? You're Mystic Team back with a brand new video. It's a little bit of a shorter video today. I have a really cool glitch to show you guys on the new Caldera Archipelago Airbase uh, training. It's the Wars and Orientation. You can find this by going to the uh, private match and practice in in Warzone. It's not in Vanguard. It's in War no, Warzone. All you got to do is you got to start up the training, and I'll show you guys how to get out of the map and some sure shots about you can go from. This this glitch is really cool. It's super super easy. It is super easy to do. There's actually a bunch of really cool trick shot spots you can go from, and you can either hit with a pistol or an STG, and I recommend those two. There's three guns you can get, but I recommend those two because one of them you can't select fire, so it's full auto. But, so you're just going to drop into the war zone orientation. You can look around and see what's up. Um, just make sure you follow the first checklist, so it'll be like the basic movement check. Just make sure you follow all this. And then you go over here, and you go through this door. You're going to pick up the guns here. Pick up the 1911 and the STG. Make sure you got every, all the ammo, and you're gonna go through the next door here. One thing I do recommend is you grab a, a little bit of ammo for whatever gun you're getting. So I usually wait till the ammo respawns. So you wait a couple, you wait a few seconds till the ammo respawns. But for now, I'm not gonna actually do that. So all you gotta do for this glitch is jump on right here. I don't remember who I saw this from on TikTok. I saw, saw a video of it. Just jump in this right here and just spit right of the map, and you are completely out of the map. So I'll show you guys a few really cool spots. Be careful with these. You go right through them and fall through the map. Um, just to, be sure but the first thing i usually do when i get out of the map and i'll show you why i do is run over here to this truck and you see this bot right here so you just gotta kill the bot through the wall and you grab the armor plate and you can also reach i think with the cash out of the way the mp40 you just grab the mp40 and now the coolest part about this since i have the two guns now is you can drop your gun and you can can swap the best part about that so you can do that with the STG and the pistol too. The pistol even has its own cancel animation. I don't know why it doesn't work sometimes. It doesn't always work. It usually works with the, it always works with the STG and the MP40, but the pistol is kind of weird. Um, but the ladders work on the towers outside the map, so you can go all the way up here. Go all the way to the top. This part's a little bit weird just because like it's kind of hard to like jump off here. You can see I can't really jump. But you can look right into there. And you can see the targets. And I've already had a shot from here. I'll show you guys that shot right now. But I've actually hit a little cool bill cam from here for the INRC. And uh, yes, yeah, so you can hit from this little spot. You can hit from the top if you want. You can ladder stall. You can do whatever you want. But here, check out this shot. Bear is slow. Trust. But I'm one health. I hit it. Oh my god. <clears throat> but if you don't want to go from there, you can just walk around the, the side here. And you go to this tower right here. And I'll show you guys what's cool about this one. Again, you can come up the ladder. All the ladders work except uh, one of them. But you can go right here in the corner. And you can see there's a. You can't actually see it for some reason, but there's a target there. Yeah, there it is. So you can see the target right there. You can hit to that target if you want. You can't wall bang anything into that building. The entire building is not wall bangable. But you can see that target all the way over there and you hit to it. So if you want to go for a little bit of a Narnia that's kind of hard to hit, go right ahead. More power to you. The next spot I'm going to show you guys is a little. Um, Building one of the buildings you can get on top of. So I can actually, you can actually get on a lot of stuff in this game. And I'll show you guys the last spots after. But so if you go to the top here, you can parachute in this. So you just parachute over on top of this building here, and then you have to jump right to that pole because that little lip is not actually physical. So you got to just jump to the pole. I didn't make it, so just gotta get back out. So one quick thing: you can't hit on the bots. The issue is you don't get a loadout in this, and you can't get a sniper. The only weapons in this entire training orientation is the STG, the MP40, and the 1911. There's no other guns at all. None of the other bots over here have guns. The bot over on the other side only has the MP40 every single time. That was terrible. You can't get any lethals or tacticals or field upgrades whatsoever. This training orientation is not as good as the original one. The original one, you can get your loadout. You can get field upgrades. You can get pretty much everything there was um like boxes you could loot and get, get a sniper and you get out of the map and you can hit on the you can hit on the targets like on this you can shoot the targets and it'll kill them but just you, i don't know why it's really weird you can't actually get a loadout in this version um there's no way to get loadouts. there's money i don't know why there's money when you can't actually get any loadouts or buy anything at any buy station you'll see on the map there's literally nothing here and uh it's really annoying but you can hit with a pistol. I mean, the, all the targets are one shot no matter what, no matter what gun you use, and no matter what range. You, there's no fall off damage. So you can use pretty much any gun you want, which is nice. The... I cannot make this jump for the life of me, Jesus Christ. 
There we go, we made it. Alright, so you can get up on top of here, you know, and you can jump on top of the whole building, plus all the way on top here. You can see off into the other side where that bot was. You can see the middle, you can see the other side. Um, you can't go in this tower, so let you know, even though it is in the map, you cannot go in it. Um, if you go into this area, there's no way out. I've tried everything. You can get on that tower and get on the building. You can't get on the barriers on the walls here. You can't get on the barriers on the walls over there. You can't even jump over that barrier there. I don't think I haven't been able to get out at all. You can't jump from here. You can't get out anywhere. So once you get inside this middle area, there's no way out. And I'm pretty sure you fall through the map on there, but I'll show you a little trick to get around that. But yeah, so you can go around here. You can get on the uh, barriers on here. So you can walk on these. This one you will fall off, so don't go on that one. There's like, there's the target I was mentioning earlier, so that target is shootable. You can't wall bang anything on this building. I've tried pretty much everything. You'll see like there's no bullet holes at all, so you can't actually go anywhere. Uh, you can get on these, but again, you can't trick shot from them. But it's really cool up here. You can see a lot of the map. You can get on all the walls here and go all the way around. Um, you can't get on here. This one's kind of blocked off. You can't get on that one. I wanted to try and see if I can get up there somehow, but I can't. Uh, I haven't tried. I don't think I can jump on there, but there are targets over there. So I'll show you guys in this right now. Guess so you can walk along the wall here. Gotta be very, very careful. And keep going here. You'll see I get blocked off right here. There's targets there, so if you want to go for like a one attempt shot, you can go from here, like get up on top and go all the way around and hit from here to those targets. And I think you might be able to see them from up there, but again, if you fall in here, you won't be able to get back out. You can go, do a little one attempt spot from here and try to hit on those. But uh, I don't recommend it just because it is like super long to get back up every time, but. Once you're back up top. There's really no other spots from here, but yeah, you can kind of see them from here. Not really, to be honest. I don't think you can wallbang this tent. Let's see. Oh, you can. You can wallbang the tent. Good to know. All right, so you can well, you could shoot through the tent if you wanted to. Uh, I don't really recommend the spot, though, just because, again, like, if you fall down here, you can't get back out. So you c you can't backdrop this because you can't get back into the window you have to go through. There's a window here that the character runs through. Um, also, killing this bot... This, this character will always go down right there, and killing the bot won't prevent her from going down. She gets sniped from somewhere, I'm pretty sure, and you have to revive her. So you can't keep going from this section. You can't get out from anywhere else. I've tried pretty much every single angle. You can't get out anywhere again. This that this is the only spot you can get out. But uh, you could go off this. You could, like, backdrop this and, like, shoot to the targets back here, which would be pretty cool. Um... But I'm going to show you guys the last spots. So I just drop down here. There's no fall damage, by the way. Absolutely no fall damage. Uh, these planes, you can actually like hold X on them, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, you can get on top of this right here. So if you want to just like look around, you can... I think you might be able to see the targets from there. Maybe we'll shoot through the 10th from here and actually hit those targets. I have not looked at that yet. But you'll see I can't get on the walls or anything here. Uh, so right over here, if you prone into this, you'll see that you go right through the map. But if you go to the edge here, there's a wall here, like a barrier here. You just kind of scooch around it. Just kind of keep scooching until you push through. You can't go back. But this ladder is physical. So you can go up this ladder here. Uh, and you can probably hit to the, you can hit the target right over there. So if you want to do like a little shot from up here, you can hit the target from there. Just careful the jumping is a little weird from up here. So you just kind of want to go right to the edge. So you'll jump freely. But you'll see if I go to the corner over here, I can get on this one. And I could probably go for a shot off here to that target. Or you can hit to those targets too. It, if you, for again, if you should front drop in, you can't get back out. And there are bots in this area. I'll show you guys right here. There is a bot right there. You can shoot them, you can kill them, but if you get in this area, you cannot get back out. Um, I don't know why. You see, I can't get, I can't even get on these walls here, and I just fell in. But yeah, so you can't get back out whatsoever. I've tried literally everything. I'll kill the bots real quick, just so I can show you guys. There's nowhere to get out. Also, these bots can't kill you. You'll see, like, once they start, once they get you really, really low, they can't kill you. So that's one good, cool thing with this training thing is they get you, like, one shot, but they'll never kill you. But uh, I'm going to try to hit one more shot for the video, and uh, it's going to be a really short video, like I said. So it's just going to be me showing, it, showing off what the spots you guys can go for. And uh, like I said, so if you guys don't know how to cancel up in this game, if you drop your weapon and you melee, hold X, and press Y, you get a cancel up. The cool part about this is you can actually fake reload next. So if I do this... 
and swap in a reload, it looks like a reload neck. It looks really cool. Also, if you melee hold X and hold Y, it does the play thing. Oh, it didn't do it that time, but... I don't know why it's not doing it, but usually it opens the plate, and then you can uh, pull the cannon swap. And the reason I told you guys to grab a plate is because you can plate into swap. So if you pull, pull out a plate and press Y, pull it out really quickly and press Y, it switches between every, between your guns. And it is slow, but it is kind of cool. Also, I do recommend using the MP40 because it swaps a lot faster than the SCG does. It pulls out a lot slower, but if you're doing like a like a fake reel neck to like a can swap, and then you're putting it away and then like punching or whatever, you're doing something cool like that, it's a lot easier to swap from. So I do recommend it. But you'll see like all the guns are the same. So we got another MP40, we got another MP40. Oh, wait, well, guess what? MP40, but yeah, you'll see there's no other way out. So once you guys get in this area, you're stuck. But I hope you guys do hit some shots. Hope you guys do enjoy the video. Enjoy this last shot that I'm gonna try and hit. If I don't have another shot, I apologize, but I'm gonna try and hit one more.